Welcome back to Sturge Tropia. This is Sturge, hanging out at the Ark Immigration Zin teleporter, way up higher in the treetop in the treehouse, with the high priest and his cool little lookout tower. Love it up here. Yeah, still on Planet Cyrene. Gonna do, uh, today, I want to talk about the daily taming missions here on Cyrene. Yes, I'm back, uh, doing taming missions. And I gotta tell you, the rewards for these are just flabbergastic they're so cool but yeah just that was the that's the whole plan is to continue on the uh the taming mission you know as sort of my quest to uh get this done as you can see here arc immigration zin teleporter all i did was jump off of the tower hurt myself a little bit and i'm just going to run over to the place where this mission is uh the mission givers are and the reason i'm running over there obviously is so that you can see where it is you don't have to guess be like i'll just give you a waypoint and you can just figure it out yourself because oftentimes that gets that actually confuses people more um and i don't want that to be i don't want this to be confusing i want it to be super easy now technically i believe this zindar taming mission an NPC was added in the November 2021 version update, but uh, this sort of graphical edition is a little bit more recent, 2022. But it doesn't matter. It's here, and it's a pretty cool little area, the hovel. We've got a, you know, blueprint keeper, a storage bag, construction table. We've got another Zin here, and then the Zin Dar. And I've already picked up the taming mission for the Rets for today. Uh, you can do this daily. You can do uh, Penelions, uh, which are the weak Penelions, the only tameable ones. And I'm doing the low-level taming. And my reason for doing the low-level taming is, well, because that's pretty much what I can do. So 35 Arets, um or 40 Penelion, weak Penelions, right? And then there's a higher level, and I believe that is Manchengs and Rhino Beetles. And obviously that's way outside of my wheelhouse of taming. So let me cut right to the chase. I'm going to go straight across from the Ark staging area. I'm going to jump in my handy dandy little hover pod and cruise over to Arete Island, where there's so many Arets, it would be hard not to stumble across one. And we're going to go to the taming there. I'm going to tame my 35, show you the results from the loot and so forth, and give you a little explanation about the whips that we're going to use. Actually, the one that I am going to use. Of course, I think it's important to show you the difference between the Dominex Original Garter and the Dominex Moccasin, and how those stack up against Taming of Arets. Okay, so here we are. The Dominex Original Moccasin on the left and the Original Garter on the right. If you look at the uh, Moccasin, the damage interval is 4 to 8 damage uh, per hit. And the Garter is 1.5 to 3, which is a lot better for a 20 hit point mob, which the Arets are. And then the Weak Penelions are an 80 hit point mob, so the Dominex Original Moccasin's better for those. I'm going to start this adventure here with the Moccasin and show you why it's going to be so easy to overkill Arets using the Moccasin. Okay, so I have the Dominex Original Moccasin equipped. And this is our first victim, the Arete robot, horse, whatever it is. And the first hit, 7.6, 7.9, so two-thirds of its hit points easy in the first two whips. So this is going to be Overkill City. One more whip and he's just about dead, so that's not going to work. I'm going to switch over to the original Garter because the, and then let the Arete heal a little bit. As you can see, even then it's, you know, 2.2 .2 damage I almost I almost killed overkilled uh instead of taming and and looking at the respect bar is important here because you see i haven't really gained any of the respect from this mob and i ended up overkilling it anyway but i think that's the important part to see is that uh, of course the moccasin's a better whip for this now if you're a season you know tamer you know this already this is really just for folks that don't know the difference between the first two whips which are the Dominex Original Garter and the Dominex Moccasin, Original Moccasin. And so I'm just going to use this throughout my uh, my experience here. Uh, th throughout this particular mission, I'm going to tame 35 Arets with the Dominex Original Garter. And then I'm going to come back and show you the results. And then, of course, one of the things I think we should also do once that's all said and done is to have a discussion about what kind of loot they drop. Because if you're hunting these mobs, well... They give you a lot different loot than what you would get if you're just taming them. So there's my first tame. I'll come back once I've finished all 35. Okay, so here I am coming up on the last two. 
and I want to do well. I wanted to scan them first. I always try to see if I can get a little, uh, little scanning skill increase. Uh, but one of the things I wanted to mention was how challenging it can be when you're really low level trying to do this mission, especially if you're if you, you don't have a lot of experience and you're not wearing a taming ring. I'm wearing a taming ring that gives me eight percent um, skill increase, but not everybody can afford one of those or has one of those. But wanted to demonstrate just what happens when you're trying to tame something and you're basically killing it and you can't get that respect bar to come up enough. You kind of have to click away. And I just, you know, I just sort of uh, left click uh, on the ground. Then I come back and look at it like, see how I've got this down to just about nothing. Uh, I'm just going to pause, let the aret heal up just a little bit because I, I can't let the respect bar go down a lot. I need the red to heal a little bit, and then boom, just a bee stick of uh, health left, and boom, here we go, tame that one. So that's number 34, and we'll finish up here with 35 in just a second. That should take about a minute to, uh, maybe two minutes per mob to tame. If you get it, you're getting a lot of respect per whip, then it goes really fast, and so it could be less than a minute. You might only have like six or seven clicks, and then boom, you can tame. Uh, other times you may have to let it heal multiple times, like I just did in the last mob, and so keep that in mind if you're new to this. You don't try not to overkill and try not to kill them with the whip. Let them heal and then tame them, uh, and the reason I say that is you don't want the decay uh, because then you kill it and you don't get the tame and that sucks. And then here's another example, you get a failure, right? And so you gotta whip it a bunch more, uh, which is a bunch more clicks and a bunch more decay on the whip. And so what you're really looking for is not to kill the mob with the whip. You're really looking to tame it because in a minute, I'm gonna show you why you want to have these pets. And there we go. And that's the other part that's really cool about this mission is you get the reward instantaneously. You don't have to return to the mission giver. And so for about an hour and a half to two hours worth of taming, you get four peck in animal taming skill. That's a couple peck less than the one on Toulon, but it's still a pretty cool reward. Before I show you all of the loot that I gathered from those rats, I'm going to show you what happened. I, I actually sweated a weak Penelion. I scanned him, I sweated him, and now I'm going to actually tame him using the Dom Dominic's uh, original garter to start to show you how you can do it with, the, you can actually tame Penelions with this, but it's even better to use the Dominic's original moccasin because it just, it speeds up the process incredibly well, even though this is an 80 hit point mob and that's, the interval is only 48 for the, uh, for the moccasin, 1.5 to 3 for the, for the garter, but yeah, 4 to 8 uh, damage interval goes so much faster. You can see, boom, just like that. I've already got the respect all the way over, and now I'm just trying to get the spirit down. And this one tames really super fast. Uh, again, look at that, just ready to tame already with only about half health. So not a bad gig at all. Uh, I just wanted to show you one example and how the moccasin can be used if you want to tame weak Penelians. Oh, well, I didn't get it that time, but I'll get it the next time. Yeah, so that's the thing, is if you really want to tame weak Penelions because you want them as pets or you want the sweat, the moccasin's the way to go. Okay, it's time to take a look at the returns, but we also need to look at the whips themselves. And uh, I started with a moccasin, an old one that I had. Our loot return is 5.66 PED. And then the old um, original garter, sorry, I said moccasin, but I meant garter, they f had about 54 peck on it. So you could see it's down to 0 0.0066. And then I bought another one and I bought, bought them both for 11 peds. So it's 157% markup. And here we are with uh, 3.41 PED left on the, um, the second one I purchased. So that's roughly 6.49 PED in decay, which does include the markup on the whips. And we came back with 5.66 PED in loot, which is about 83 peck in loss. That's not bad at all, considering all the taming we did. And uh, and I had to do, a, a couple of them I had to kill with uh, Buchan's Blade because sadly m more were attacking me um, at the same time, but not a big deal. Let me look at the moccasin here, just a little bit of decay on the moccasin, uh, 22 peck worth of decay on the moccasin between the couple of mobs that you saw me whip. So not bad overall, uh, really good return considering well, 
what we've gotten so far in Taming Reward, but wait, there's more. So I'm going to go back to the Zindar Mission Giver. First, I wanted to show you that I actually got level 7 in the uh, Pet Handler Profession from the completion of this particular mission. Very nice for me today. I said I was low level. Never claimed to be badass. Just, uh, just trying to get some skills and uh, do some taming and help other people along the way, you know, with what I've learned. And certainly the community has been really helpful in, uh, in discussions, lots of discussions. But here's the kicker. Here's the, here's where this is very, very different rewards. You can turn in 13 of your pets per day. Yes, that's right. This is the turn-in daily. It doesn't give you pet taming. It gives you zoology. Now, Cyrene Dream says it's anywhere from one to two pack of zoology, but I'll show you. It actually turns out to be a pretty de decent reward uh, when you turn them in. One thing I will say, though, it's a little tricky here, is you can't just drag and drop them all at once. You got to drag them individually. I tried over and over uh, to see if I could drag, like, drag two at a time or four at a time or eight at a time or whatever, and it just doesn't work. You have to drag the pets in one at a time. It's only 13 of them, so it's not that big a deal, and it's great. I mean, you can either... See, I'll show you here what I was what I was doing. I'm like, I'm going to get them all. Just get them in there. Nope not gonna happen <laughs> so uh but you think about this is a really good to get a zoology reward and i was going to show you the wiki like i normally do show everyone the wiki uh but i'm not going to do that suffice to say that the zoology reward applies to pet handler and animal tamer professions and therefore increases basically your ability to to tame various mobs so it's a super cool reward you take your pets instead of putting them in the uh dehydrator or whatever it's called <laughs> to get their essence you basically get a zoology reward for all of your your efforts and i think the skill gain is really really nice and it's just a nice you know icing on the cake cherry on top for a great uh mission anyway and, and it's super quick like i said hour and a half to two hours and there's an advanced version of this you can see these the mid-level taming uh if you want to do uh man shangs or rhino beetles you come to the zindar uh gentleman as well well i guess he says he's no man but he is male so something to that effect yes rhino beetles and man shangs so that's going to wrap it up for me here on uh, planet Cyrene, living the Cyrene dream doing the uh, the daily taming missions and turn in you can see the rewards are really good i i think if you're just getting started in taming this is definitely one of the places you've got to come it is worth all of your time here sadly uh the really cool loot like the bones and claws um and the jagged tooth don't drop from the arets when you're taming i did mean to mention that earlier when we were looking at the loot but that's okay. Uh, you still get this really good taming reward and you get a, a zoology reward. And it's relatively quick and inexpensive. You see, my total cost was basically one whip worth. So overall, I mean, the loss, 83 peck loss, and, and I had a good time doing it. And I got a, little, got a little love out of it and good experience. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to keep coming back and doing this mission. So I hope this was informative for all of you who are low-level taming and just looking to get going. Uh, this is Sturge signing off until the next taming video. Ciao for now.